Today's story is about Tayo Johnson. He was a star NFL. <laughs> he was an NFL player at tight end. He was a star tight end at uh, Stanford. And he also played on the basketball team when they were good. And he was an all-star, all-American in high school. He played three sports. He was the number one athlete coming out of high school in football. And he was, a, I believe he was a McDonald's All-American in basketball as well. The guy had game. Uh, he was originally playing quarterback. But he switched to tight end. And he had a good season for Stanford. And then he went pro. Probably went pro a little too early. He should have probably stayed another year, work on his game, but he didn't. He took the bag. But his game kind of reminds me of Kellen Winslow Jr.'s before the rape charges, of course. After his short NFL career, he moved on. He graduated from Stanford, which is like the Harvard of the West Coast. You know, even their athletes are smart. And he got a job at a Silicon Valley firm doing, you know, who knows what they do. (laughs) One of those companies that are billion dollar companies and they don't actually produce nothing. They don't create nothing. Like, what service are you actually providing? (laughs) But I'm starting to think that you don't even got a job, Tommy. And he worked as a celebrity liaison for this company alleged company and he dealt with celebrities um so you know he goes to festivals south by southwest all the uh popular festivals south by southwest is uh popular in austin texas and in the southwest region it's a very very big festival so he goes there with his boss and while they're at the hotel she says hey you need to play the game you know if you want to get ahead well, that game is called Know Your Personnel and Know Your Client. Know Your Personnel means to your coworkers and your boss. Know Your Client is to do the same, but with your clients. All right, so we know who his boss is. Well, his number one client at the time and who performed at South by Southwest was the Paris Hilton. Okay, so I don't know if uh, she had any part to play, but his boss definitely wanted him to try to go smash those cheeks. I was assuming this story was going to be a pretty big story and people were going to cover it. And it's interesting that it's not being covered. But, you know, you're going to get it here at Bias Fanatic. So make sure you subscribe and like. Comment down below as well. So, so you might be wondering, well, what did Paris Hilton actually really have to do with it? She just couldn't imply it. Well, she's actually been knowing, Janine Rio has been knowing Paris Hilton for like 20 years. That's her friend. So why would she imply that to Tayo Johnson if Paris wasn't in on it? That's what that that's my theory. All right. So uh, Paris wanted some uh, chocolate, all right. But um, <laughs> she wanted to be on the newest episode of Black. Okay. But uh. <laughs> She took that song by Kanye West and Jay-Z seriously, personally. <laughs> she said, brothers in Paris, you just like me. You just, y'all just like me. And you know, I'm always asking here at Bias Fanatic, what's the bigger question to the story? Like, why is the media not reporting about Paris Hilton? I mean, they, they report every time her dog takes a, a, a poop, right? And is, is it because... The narrative doesn't fit what they want to put out there. Men bad, women good, right? Well, what happens when we put women in these same positions of powers, power that we put men? Well, the same things happen. Well, as women uh, get more and more 
education and put in better positions of power and more opportunities, which they should have, I don't disagree with, will we see more or less of this? Will we see them abuse power? Is, is only men are only men, you know, the bad people here, you know, <laughs> you know, and so I believe that absolute power corrupts absolutely. And so I don't believe that it's a gender issue. I believe that it's a power issue. And so uh, I can get in that, but I'm not, you know, this is a salacious news story. So I'm going to keep it at that. But you guys let me know what you think. Down in the comments, let me know. Would you clap the boss's cheeks? You know, would you get that promotion? <laughs> right? Would you clap Paris Hilton's cheeks? Or you say, you know what? That my, my work is my work, okay? I, I I do not mix work and life together, all right? Or how do you feel about the uh, power imbalance? Is that okay? Is that acceptable? Do you, do you think you're going to see more and more of these type of stories? Let me know down below. Please like and subscribe. And until the next time, peace.